months, it came right into D.C. And it's still, it's still in our heads. The PTSD, the lights, the sirens, the noise, the commotion. Too many things to focus on. We came out in a huge group. It's hard to keep track of things. And it's because of the system, the idea that we just mentioned, the idea that money owns everything, that you can put a price tag on oil, and put a price tag on land, and put a price tag on water. Water is life. I remember Dave Archambault said, that's not correct, because you're saying life is water. There's a alternative sources of life. Name one. It's funny, huh? But that's real, because those people are in charge. Those people are trying to tell us that we can drink something other than water, but we can't. How are you going to get your food without water? How are you going to feed your children? How are you going to tell them your stories? If you lose that water, if you give away this church, the land, the plants, the trees, all of that, that's our medicine. When we say is we burn the wood, that's medicine. It's how we talk to the holy people. You know, all these traditions, they all have stories of why we do them. Within those stories, you learn morals and ethics. I remember the night before that raid, I asked my brother Giovanni, who's in the back somewhere, I said, what are you going to do tomorrow if they come in? They come in with those trucks and those assault rifles. Are you going to stay here or are you going to go? He said, I'm going to do what Carla does. Carla's a single mother with two children who are at home being taken care of by her family so she can be out here to protect the water for them. So we have mothers on the front line who don't see this as a fun activity. We quit our jobs because this is life or death. No one to look at it. You care for water. Your mother, she is a water bearer. She carried you in her womb for nine months. Your entire world was water. And then you became a human being. And then you began to eat with that water, to pray with it, drink it. People forget that an intimate form of prayer, the most intimate form of prayer, is eating your food. It's one time in your life you get to put the mother inside of your body again and build yourself up. Money can't buy clean food or clean water. The food that we buy at the grocery